So yellow light pops up. They don't have to sit there burning, you know, burning propane all day long, running in circles. They can, you know, wait when when a yellow light pops up. They go directly to that area, see what they need. 80% of your plants is manual operations, and you don't have that that level of data. I mean, that's huge what you can start doing with it. Automotive and iTech, working with Toyota, Ford, AMD, and you have, I think, work a lot into lean manufacturing environment, especially the last right. 15 years as a offering consultant services and having your own company called Industrial Andons and working with companies, helping them with the visual signals. Andon is Japanese for paper lantern. Uh, when I was working with some of the Japanese senseis, what they uh, basically told me was back in the 50s when they first started putting lights on the assembly line, um, you know, so that when they would had an issue, they would turn the light on it would turn a melody on and signal for somebody to come and help. They didn't know what to call the thing. And it kind of reminded them of the, uh, you know, paper lanterns from restaurants. So that's kind of where, you know, got coined as, as an and on systems. Yeah, so just like you said, you know, people are familiar with it on whether a piece of equipment's running or not. Uh, but the, the, the nice thing with an and on system is, is it kind of gives that same level of visibility to your manual workstations. It can be integrated with your equipment as well, but uh, where it's really useful is, because I mean, the majority of most manufacturers are, their most of their stations are manual operations still, and uh, we don't have good visibility into that. So what the Andon system does is enables you to keep, uh, one, to keep your team members at the line doing what you, know, you have them there doing, but it also gives them a way to signal to the, the respondents when they need something it has a red, yellow, green, and blue light on it. Uh, using those as a sense of urgency, so red being you're dead in the water, uh, down to the other end is, you know, blue, I maybe have a question that uh, may or may not be work-related and anywhere in between. Uh, but the way we see it being used more often that seems to be more effective is each of the lights representing um, a different respondent group. And so in that way, you're looking at, say, red being for, uh, say, maintenance. Yellow commonly is used for, for material handling green supervision, blue for quality, engineering, something like that. Do is using it for material handling. So it's basically like an electronic Kanban system okay. um, to where, okay, I need a part or I'm getting low, uh, so I turn the yellow light on. Uh, material handlers, they can have a you know inexpensive tablet mounted on their fork truck or tugger, and all they have on that tablet is the the monitor screen and you can actually set up a monitor view that's only going to show the yellow lights so they're not going to get they're not going to see maintenance calls or you know engineering calls they're only going to see the yellow light so a yellow light pops up they don't have to sit there burning you know burning propane all day long running in circles they can you know wait when when a yellow light pops up they go directly to that area see what they need we did a system very similar to, to what you were talking about there for a, um, it was a testing lab. They test, you know, bodily fluids and do all sorts okay. of things like that. Um, we did you know, hundreds of stations there where, you know, we used little uh, uh, infrared sensors and they had just that. It was a two bin system where uh, if both bins were in place, um, you know, light was green. If they removed either bin, then light went yellow. If they removed both, light went red. And then those also sent, uh, you know, obviously the boards would turn on so they could immediately okay. see, okay, we've got a hundred, you know, hundred stations out there on the floor uh, where they're testing. So as soon as one goes yellow, they would know, okay, we gotta, you know, we can replenish that one. As soon as it goes red, they know they better get over there fairly quick because they've got both bins removed. Mm -hmm. Was it's gonna be fairly expensive to get enough of the floor signal stations to have enough inputs to cover every single unit, you know, every single part, every single bin that they had. Yeah. So, so actually what we ended up doing with them was they had Kanbans, you know, Kanban cards on all their bins. And so what they would do though, is as they would pull a Kanban card out, they had a little slot and it had the limit switch in it. So that as soon as they put a card in the slot, that would hit the switch. But now you've also got some data around, you know, how long was the light on for? That's basically your, basically your response time. So you can kind of measure things like that as well. Um, so so that, you know, the good part is, is, you know, there may not even be anything to fix there. You're just monitoring to see where it's at. 
Um, but you're starting to get the kind of data that you're used to getting from your equipment, yeah. from your manual operations. And when, when 80% of your plant is manual operations right. and you don't have that, that level of data, I mean, that's huge what you can start doing with it. Can you tell us quickly how uh, people can reach you if they want to know more? Or? Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, go to our website, industrialandons.com. Um, or search uh, search for an andon and we should pop up in your uh, in the search or give us a call uh, 866-290-7551